And welcome back, this is Bobby Scribble with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. I am joined, as always, by my trusty party of Luke, Nova, Bro, and Gray. When we last left off, we were still in Pandemonium on the fifth floor. And we were in front of this treasure chest. Let's open it! We get the Genji Helm, but there's also a monster inside. I'm sure it's nothing too bad. Nothing too bad at all. Oh my god, it's Tiamat. Okay, first things first. With Tiamat, you don't want to cast Shield first. You want to cast Shell. And now, it, I believe, absorbs all elemental spells, so you want to go with Flare. And hopefully, I can get some good damage in with the regular attacks. Shell did hit everybody, which is always awesome. Come on, Flare. Still did 500 damage. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's go ahead and cast Berserk on everybody because this guy, girl, I believe Timot is technically the queen of dragons. There we go. Thunderbolt 16. That is what I'm used to seeing. Still does quite a bit of damage even with the shell on. You saw 138 damage on Bro right there. Ugh. This really good. I just want really to hit bro, to be honest with you. The Berserk. Because he's already getting a lot of damage in. You see that the Holy Lance did a lot of damage as well. Let's go ahead and just cast it straight on bro. And then you can keep... Now let's go for the attack since you are Berserked as well. Don't you dare miss. No. Okay, Toxin 16. So here comes the poison attack. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much got all, all the elements. Every last one of them. Oh, still only 64. Jeez. Okay, there we go. That's why you berserk, bro. And down goes Tiamat. Down it goes. We get a Phoenix down, which I will take. Even though that fills me up on items. Let's take a look at that Genji helm. Uh, is that going to be better than the Diamond Helm? Yes, it is by quite a bit. Holy crap. Uh, by 13, so I believe everybody else has. No. No, they do not. Alright, so hold on for a second. Let me heal everybody up. With Tiamat down, we need to head back to the fourth floor. So let's head back there now. I think this was the way we got in. So yes, through this door, back to f the fourth floor. They're just called the fourth floor, even though I, I th yeah, there are basements. Let's head through the far right one this time. I think this one's going to be a simple one, just straight to the east and north. And in this treasure chest here, we don't get anything because my inventory is full. Hold on while I clear that up again. Okay, in this treasure chest, we get the Genji armor and the monster. What kind of monster do we have this time? I mean, we already defeated Tiamat. What more could... Oh my god, it's Beelzebub. Okay, so for Beelzebub, you want to cast Shell, Flare, and then attack. Shell should be my bestest buddy here, but I guarantee nothing. Once again, he's got a ton of physical defense. A lot of defense overall, actually. So let's go ahead and cast Berserk on everybody. And then hopefully we can start getting some good damage in. Please hit Bro and Gray. They're the ones I really wanted to. Yes, hit everybody. Oh, Muddle. That is not good. But it missed, which is awesome. Hate Muddle so damn much. Another 400 damage. There we go. There's the Berserk kicking in just a bit. Not on the Sunblade, though. Let's go ahead and attack. There we go. There's the Massive Rene showing off. And then the Flare comes down on Luke. 800 damage. Damn. That's a lot of damage. But we're doing decent mount. And down goes Beelzebub. Yes, HP increase, endurance increase, endurance decrease, damn you, black robe, do not care. Threw the other one out a long time ago, but we did get the Genji armor, which is also awesome. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that on loop since he still has my the lowest HP right now. And upgrades! 
Almost across the board. Awesome. Hold on while I heal Luke back up. Now you know the drill. It's back down to the fourth floor. We're actually on the sixth floor here, so we somehow go up to... Yeah, somehow this door goes up two floors without us ever really knowing. Whatever. So let's go through the last door that we haven't gone through yet. And through this last door, the third door from the left. Uh-oh. This, this doesn't look good at all. I don't like the looks of this one bit. And I believe there's another secret passage right there. And in this treasure chest right in the middle of the freaking room we find a ribbon and a monster. Now, this one has got to be the toughest one, right? Astaroth. I have no idea who Astaroth is, but uh, I'll try to show you two ways to do this if I can. Um, but first, uh, I want to cast Holy and Flare. And I think I can do it this way. But I'm not 100% positive. I mean, look at that thing. It looks weak to holy, doesn't it? But it still only does 486 damage. And just like everything else, it's got a lot of defense. So I should get Berserk up on everybody. Let's go ahead and do that now. You continue casting Flare. You guys attack because that's what you do. So let's get Berserk up. Everybody on except Luke. But that's not... Too bad, I hope. 277. Jeez. Come on, let's keep going. Alright, let's go ahead and attack. Why not? Uh, he does have the strongest sword in the game. Why not let him attack? Still only does about 500 damage. That's why Berserk is awesome and usually needed. Another flare, another 500 damage. Not doing as much as I would like. Let's go ahead and cast Berserk on yourself. Uh, flare still. I was about to say, if that hits Luke again, I mean, she's just got it out for him, but no, it goes for Bro. Alright, now Luke is ready to take her on, just like everybody else. I mean, I assume it's a her, but, not, you know, Astaroth does not ring a bell in, in mythology. Down she goes! Wow, that was not nearly as tough as I remember. Endurance does go up, and yes, we do get another ribbon. But you know what that means? It's time for me to heal up. That's what this means. Hold on for one second. But actually, I do want to show the other way that I know how to defeat this boss. And I'll hopefully it works, because I have never actually tried it on this particular boss. So let's go ahead and uh, start off with Berserk again. And uh, we'll go with Flare and Attack. What's different this time is that I've equipped Gray with the two Blood Swords that I've gotten. And we're going to see how that works out. Hopefully he can get Berserked, because believe that his damage goes up because of that, even with the Blood Sword. The Blood Sword, of course, I don't think has any any attack on it whatsoever. I mean, it's just pitiful, but yeah, look at that. Look at how much damage that does. That's insane. Let's go ahead and just keep attacking. With Grey going, I mean, holy crap, they almost killed Bro with one attack there. Yeah, 3,000 1,000, oh my god, just so much damage being done by these blood swords. Uh, down it goes. So it really only got, I believe, one attack off? Maybe two attacks. So yes, I do need to heal up and uh, when, yeah, so I'll be right back. Alright, I think we're ready to continue on. Now I do believe, there it is. We can go through a secret passage there, and then through here, we find another secret passage, which does lead us to another teleporter. Where will this teleporter take us? Someplace new, someplace awesome. The fourth floor, where we already were, so. We're on the other part of the fourth floor, though, a place we haven't been before, so that's always nice. But the only way we can go is east, which does lead to another teleporter. Where does this one take us? 
This one takes us to the seventh floor. We want to head to the northwest to find Sage's Wisdom. Awesome. Let's head up these stairs out here. And now it's time to make a big circle, which is always fun. It's always fun to go in a circle. Let's go down here and keep going south. And through here we find our way east. Like east, or sorry, west. What am I talking about? Shut up, I understand directions. Okay, we are going to go into this teleporter here, which takes us to the 8th floor. Now this place looks a bit more complicated. Now I believe I want to go east first. If I remember right. So let's head all the way east and over here we find a treasure chest. And the difficulty of random battles has definitely spiked right here. We're fighting King Behemoth and Blue Dragons. It's awesome. And in here we do find the Hellfire. Let's go ahead and head up these stairs and I believe... Hold on. Yes, we want to head east first. I thought I was confused for a second. And up here we find a teleporter, but I don't want to take it yet. I believe... No, it's not here. No, oh, I thought it was there. So it must be on the other side. Over, over here. And over here... Oh! No, don't want to go that way. Over here we find... An acid bottle. Now, if I have done everything correctly, which there's always a chance that I have not, so let's just double check here. Yes! I have gotten every, 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 every treasure in the game. I, I don't want to do the math, but I got 100%. That's what's important. That is what is important. So let's head back to that teleporter. We're almost there. We're so close! We're so close! And now we're on the huge, huge ninth floor. To move on, you want to go all the way south and then all the way west, and holy crap, we're in space. So let's use this teleporter here. Where is this one going to take us? I mean, there's no more... Holy crap, what the hell is this? Right, let's head directly north. And there... There's the Emperor. Which we will have to take on next time. You knew we couldn't fight it in this part. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. I have been Baller Scuba. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.